like uh, in our project we are using sap especially like a striking kind of uh, yeah now it's okay okay uh, i think uh, so you are the same trainer for primark also right yes i do training for uh, prime uh, don't record uh, uh, so today's session i'm just to try to explain uh, what i'm going to cover that uh, whole session uh, and what is the duration and all i'm going to cover today's session and from tomorrow we'll have a regular session okay so regular session nothing but is a session one uh, so welcome to bob j uh, demo session as you know like myself uh, madhuka reddy i have a 12 plus years of experience in our business objects and uh, currently i'm working as a business object architect uh, in a bangalore location i'm with the same company uh, more than 7 years and uh, before i work with a uh, ibm kolkata and also i work with the tcs uh, mumbai where i work with uh, ge projects so uh, uh, you know i started my career with uh, business objects so old version when when i was in tcs that was a uh, very old version we were 6.5 in 2007 and later so we uh, come up with uh, the next version of the box had to so you know before 6.5 there is a 5 uh, sorry there is a 6.0 and 5.5.5 and also 5.0 so and before that there is a 4.0 as well okay so there are different versions they come up with and uh, after uh, after a lot of gap so they come up with the next version of the bo which is xr2 which is xi is nothing but 11 it's uh, xi is nothing but 11 after 6.5 after uh, i mean uh, many years uh, they come up with uh, other versions uh, so they made it as xi okay and they come up with the first version is xi release 1 so that uh, got failed a uh, lot of bugs is raised immediately so all that issues are fixed and they uh, and immediately they release with the release 2 bo xi release 2 okay and later so the bo again it's a 3 xi 3.0 and 3.1 they release with 3.1 and 3.1 version in 2008 sap acquired the business object tool and they added the new features in a 3.1 the existing version and also they come up with a, the new tools introduced in a 4.0 which is called sap bo 4.0 so or you can call it sap bob j 4.0 or you can say sap bi 4.0 okay and uh, you can see uh, many uh, changes uh, when compared with the 3.1 to 3.1 to the 4.0 new tools also is introduced uh, in a 4.0 compared uh, with 3.1 and later so they come up with the 4.1 version again 4.1 they come up with the design studio lumira these are the new tools are introduced in a 4.1 version and uh, now the current version which is a 4.2 most of the projects uh, currently running on the 4.1 version okay and there are some projects they are upgrading to the 4.2 but you do not see much difference in 4.0 4.1 4.2 almost uh, all all same features is available so, Uh, apart from the new tools is introduced which is a design studio and lumira okay and uh, have uh, i work with uh, uh, different sources in the back end uh, which is a bw integration with bo sap hana with bo and also like which is the sources like back end sources i use the bw sources implemented uh, web reports crystal reports and i designed the inverse on top of the back squares in a very old version and developed a web report and with the latest version of the bo 
so without any universe designing you can directly develop a reports on top of uh, bex queries with the whole app connection so that all we'll discuss and uh, and there is another source which is sap hana it's in memory database is a 10 times faster than non sap sources like oracle or terra database and sql server databases right so it's a data is which is sitting on the da in memory system so which is 10 times faster than uh, non sap sources like oracle and sql server database so uh, i can say like uh, uh, recently i completed more than three project uh, with sap hana with bivo and before that i can say some six seven projects i implemented with the bw integration with bivo and other than non sap sources i work with uh, like when i work with xi3.1 6.5 version i work with uh, non sap sources oracle terra database and sql server databases and with currently i am working with a oracle database with a bio projects which is almost getting over so that's about myself which i work with different sources and also i am a good experience working with the telecom domain sales domain projects banking and hrms i have a good experience working with these different domains in our training i am going to cover end to end implementation on the sales project okay so end to end implementation what what it means in the bio end to end implementation is understanding the back end sources analyzing and uh, understanding the the end user requirements and uh, designing the universe and reports as per the requirement and involving the uat and end to end uh, unit testing and deploying the reports into the the production environment and giving the access to the specific user the end users who, who want to access these uh, specific reports so the dal so we are going to cover in this training including the administration part as well so which i am going to cover in uh, administration apart from the development uh, uh, development okay so the training cover uh, the development as well as the administration part okay so any any questions madhukar yeah hello yes can you hear me please yeah yeah i can hear you suresh go ahead uh what is the major difference between bw source and uh, hana source okay so uh, maybe uh, it's too early to ask but uh, i'm just asking uh, say basically you have you know like a sql server oracle terra database right yeah, yeah. so that yeah, yeah. all the data yeah. uh stored uh, any, any uh, say you can say oracle is a source like where the data is uh, available all the data store here right similar way in the bw also in sap there is a uh, uh, you can say uh, data warehousing uh, so tool so which can manage all the historical information in the bw system okay, okay. Uh, which is all the history data which yeah. is maintained in the bw system Basically, even oil ap yes yes i can say olap system yes okay. but sap ana is it's a, it can have a olap system as well as oap system which can have the current current data also so suppose okay. whatever oh. like one hour back or 10 minutes back whatever the data is uh, available that that is going to be available in sap ana system and on top of that we are going to develop reports Oh. but bw so which we do not maintain the the current information which is like one hour back or 15 minutes back whatever the data is available you want to show it in the report that is not possible with the bw which always uh, 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 yeah. replacing the applications correct correct it's similar to that yes Okay. okay cool thank you thank you and for bio perspective for for bio perspective it be same as much as same whatever we are going to develop a bw system like we are going to do the same way but here bw we are directly accessing the bex queries but here we are accessing the hana calculated views to develop a web reports 
okay, okay? Cool. the front end so the front end whatever you are connecting either you are connecting to the bw or you are connecting to the hana or oracle there at this so there is there is no much difference for us okay only the connectivity okay. is the difference okay but yes so you will get to know more information about uh, what exactly the difference between developing a reports on the top of the bw hana or sql server or oracle database so when we do practicing right so you can understand what exactly the difference between the the different sources okay, okay cool thank you oh, thank you yeah bijesh yeah bijesh go ahead please bijesh you are in mute you can unmute yourself yeah bijesh i can answer you you are fine okay okay fine perfect so coming to the course uh, curriculum if you look at here so overview of the reporting tool so what is the reporting what is the purpose of the reporting so that we are going to cover and uh, ba launchpad is a business object portal so where the end user are going to access the reports where the end user accessing the bo reports and also as a uh, bo developer you are going to we are going to log into the ba launchpad to develop the report uh, and uh, you know like in 3.1 the ba launchpad uh, used to call it as a info view now that is renamed with the ba launchpad okay it is earlier it is a info view now it is called the ba launchpad earlier means where when so when it was 3.1 version so where there is an info view now that is renamed with the ba launchpad in the, Four dot two one and two. Uh, Mother, sorry for yes. interrupting. Um, are you recording yeah. the session? Oh, sorry, I missed it. I'll just uh, do the recording. Okay. Okay. So, and uh, you, uh, I'm just moving on to the next slide. So these are the topics. Uh, I'll come back again. look at here this is the bo components wise architecture okay which is a 4.2 architecture so these are the different components are related to each other so coming back coming to b launchpad here b launchpad as i said is a bo portal where all the users accessing the reports once they log into the b launchpad so once they log into the ba launchpad uh, this portal it will communicate with the business object server so whatever the reports already we implemented and save it into the folder in save it to the server so end user can access those reports okay end user can access those reports and what kind of reports user can access user can access web intelligence reports user can access dashboards user can access the crystal reports user can access the design studio dashboards user can access the lumira reports user can access the rich client reports whatever i just highlighted here right with the line single line so these are the the different reporting tools in business objects you must heard about the the, uh, the click view tableau so which is having only the single tool but here so bo itself is having the multiple tools okay it it has a set of reporting tools like you know earlier the dashboard is a separate tool separate company and crystal report is also a separate company so business object acquired these tools now it's a part of the business objects and sap is introduced these new tools which is a design studio and lumira as a part of the 4.2 version 4.1 version okay so that all we are going to discuss how to develop all these uh, dashboards crystal reports lumira and on uh, what situation we are going to develop uh, these reports so that all you will uh, understand at the time of uh, the individual report reporting wise training okay fine and also the rich client and uh, web intelligence uh, reporting tool both are same the difference with the rich client tool is uh, it's a desktop based tool and this is the uh, web intelligence web based reporting tool fine
um, uh, just one question. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, okay. so with the SAP BA launch part, it's a, basically this is this is how the end user access the reports, right? Let's say once we have created the reports using Webby, so the end user access this report through um, SAP BA launch part, right? Correct. It's a portal. It's a BO portal. From here, BO portal. so what end user log in. Yeah. Okay, what about the uh, other? Like, if you develop some reports through Crystal or SAP uh, Design Studio and Lumira, so uh, there also those reports also end user access through yes. only through SAP BA Launchpad. Yes, yes. Uh, so, uh, and I can say the dashboards or Crystal reports, Design Studio, these three set of reports. He cannot only access the BA Launchpad. He can access through other portal also. So we can integrate these dashboard or design studio crystal reports with other uh, other tools also, other portals also. Okay. Okay. But uh, okay. yeah, uh, Webby can access only through BA Launchpad, right? BA Launchpad. Webby can access only through the BA Launchpad. Okay. okay. But all the reporting tools, all the dashboards, we can access through the BA Launchpad. Okay. But yes, okay. dashboard, okay. crystal, and yeah. SAP, which can access to through any other portal. If you integrate these reporting, these reports to the other portal. Okay. Okay. Uh, and one more question with the uh, web rich client mm -hmm. and web um, intelligence. So. Mm -hmm. Web rich client, um, as you said, it will be a it's a you know desktop version and web intelligent. It's a like uh, no web version of uh, I mean it's, it's like a web version. Correct. Like Correct. with the URL, we can access it. Correct. With okay. the URL, okay. you can develop a reports. With the we URL, can you can access. Yeah, with the URL, you can access the rich client reports also, but you can't implement it. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, sorry. With the URL, we can access the maybe rich client, but rich we client. can't. Correct. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Is my voice is clear, or is there any? I mean, any vo my voice is breaking in between. No, right? It's breaking. Uh, it's no, no. It it's breaking, Madhu. Sometimes it's breaking. Yeah. Okay. What about now? Is it okay? Still breaking? Uh, now it's now it's better. Okay, now it's better. Okay, fine. Yeah. Now I'm talking about now. So as a once you log into the BA launch pad, we can implement a web intelligence reports. Okay. To develop a web report, we need a source. To develop a web report. So once you log into the BA launch pad. We are going to log. Uh, we are going to open a web intelligence application through the BA Launchpad. To develop a web report, we need a universe. Okay. Say suppose if it is a non-SAP sources, like you have Oracle database, or you have a SQL Server databases. All the data is available in the SQL Server databases. So to develop a web intelligence report, or to develop any of the report. We need a universe. So how we can design a universe? We can design a universe using the UDT tool. You can connect to the Oracle database and design a universe and develop a web report. So it's a universe is a middleware. Universe is a middleware. Using this universe, we are going to develop a reports by connecting to the Oracle database. Oracle database because Webby can't directly connect to the Oracle database. We need a universe. So the universe can be implemented using the UDT tool or you can use the IDT tool also. Okay, so as IDT is introduced in a 4.0 version earlier, we have only the UDT tool available, only the single tool is available. So we have a new tool is introduced in a 4.0 version. So see. If you know designing the universe with the UDT tool, you can create a universe with IDT also. It is the same features, whatever the UDT is already there, same features are there, but the way the implementing the universe steps are different when compared with the UDT. 
okay and with idt tool you can connect to the multiple databases at a time so i can create a universe by connecting to the oracle database sql server database at a time you can create a report one universe you can implement with idt tool by connecting to the oracle and sql server database at a time and you can develop a web reports or you can develop a dashboard or crystal or design studio lumira any reports you can do it okay fine and when you connect into the non sap source sorry when you connect into the sap sources so with the hana sources you can create a universe using the idt tool and you can develop a reports so universe is not mandatory when you are connecting to the sap hana sources you can directly connect to the sap hana calculated views and you can develop a web report so here the universe is not mandatory okay you can directly access the ana calculated views and develop a web reports so this is introduced in 4.2 version latest version and also when it comes to the bw sources so you can access the bex queries directly through olap connection using the olap connection you can access the bex queries and develop a web reports or you can create a universe on top of the info cubes dsos multi providers you can access the the multiple dsos and you can design a universe and you can develop a web reports okay clear how we are going to Design a report uh, by connecting uh, to the different sources. Now, do I have a question here? Yeah. Um, I understand that you uh, know we can connect to SAP. Uh, when I'm talking about uh, only SAP source, so we can okay. connect to SAP um, uh, and we can create a BEX query. Then we can create a uh, web engine report. And you also said like we can connect um, SAP BW as a source and create a, a multi provider as a yes. source and we need to create a universe. Yeah, yes. universe. so my question my question here is that like once we create the multi provider um, mm -hmm. can we create a base query on top of that on top of universe you are telling no 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 um i have a multi provider so one okay. multi provider can we create a big, big query on top of that okay so multi you have multi provider and you design a big queries right okay yes yes okay no is it possible because i don't know like is it possible no the bw perspective have no idea okay uh, i'm sorry uh, from bw perspective so bex is not part of the bo okay it can be handled by the uh, bw team okay bex can be implemented by the bw team okay if okay. the bw team is implemented a bex queries either multi providers or dsos or infocube whatever okay so they implement the bex queries once the bex is ready we are going to develop okay okay so okay. Uh, so uh, my thing is that like so, I'm sorry. So my question is like, are we covering uh, some basic part of Bex query, like how to create the no. Bex query? Are yeah, we covering in our, in our class? No, no, no. So normally that Bex all info cubes, DSOs, that all will cover in the BW training. No, your voice is breaking. Like, you know, it's, it's, uh, that we are not covering. That Bex and BW we are not discussing in this training. We are only focusing mm. on business topics tool. Okay. okay. Anyway, so because anyway, uh, why I'm asking? Yeah. Any, no, why I'm anyway, asking is because. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Like why I'm asking is like uh, no. In my project, basically I have to create a Bex query, and using that Bex query, I have to create um um you know the uh, reports. So now you said like universe yeah. and you uh, know uh, <laughs> same way like I have to create a Bex query. Then I have to create uh, no, review reports. Okay, I will not recommend 
create a back queries and develop a web input. See, you are developing back queries on top of the info cubes or DSOs, right? So why you want to go for back? Right. You right. just go for a universe designing on the info cubes and develop a reports. Yeah, yeah, I, I understand. But I also suggested to them, mm -hmm. but what they said is they are having an existing system and they are going only with the back query. In future, uh, they are going to remove this uh, query design tool. So backs will not be there in future versions. Okay. Mm. And even SAP also suggested uh, that uh, uh, stop using the back queries. Use directly BW sources and design inverse and, and develop a web reports. That is actually roadmap uh, uh, in the next versions of the business object tool. So this will not be there in the uh, next versions of the SAP BW system. Yeah. Okay. Now, what's the disadvantage if you're using uh, 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 it's very, again, uh, BO team is going to depending on the BW team again until they create the back queries. We can't move forward, right? So again, it is a dependency. Yes. And also, not only that, there is some technical challenges uh, while you developing a back queries. Uh, while you are going to develop a web reports on top of the back queries. Okay. So as per the our expectation, Bex may not work in the front end tool. Okay, there are some challenges while you develop a reports on top of the back queries. Okay, if you design a universe on top of the info cube, so we'll have more flexibility and we can design our own schema here in the universe designing. We can define our own objects in the universe designing. That way, it will help us more if you have more control on the universe designing. Okay. But yes, um, if, yeah, you yeah, uh, any, yeah. if you need basic Bex training, maybe I can help you or, uh, with uh, one of my colleague. Okay, so maybe one or two hour session, you can take it for Bex concept. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's what yeah. my expectation because you know, my uh, main focus is like reporting wise, I'm at least confident, but Bex wise, I'm not at all confident. So if you can okay. give uh, you know a small clarity on Bex and like how to create a Bex query, uh, I, I'll arrange. I'll arrange. Yeah, yeah. maybe ask you like, Yes, uh, I'll arrange one. Yeah, one or two hours if you can. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. that no will be It will not be any problem. Yeah. Okay. Now, okay. Uh, I hope it's right. clear. Uh, Suresh, you have any questions? I'm good, Madhuka. Okay, it's a very simple. It, it's not uh, like anywhere the BO do not have any uh, coding knowledge. It doesn't require any coding uh, coding knowledge. Okay, we're not writing any scripts here, so which is more navigation kind of things. And you, you only the thing is you should understand uh, how we can access the backend sources and how we can analyze the backend source system. If it is sales domain, so what are the data is available in different tables? So that understanding is more important here. So that also I'm going to cover in this training. Okay, I'm I'm taking the one of the example for the sales domain project. Including the current year data. So I just added to the calculation. Now we can do the calculation. So that how I just which I'm going to use the Microsoft Access DB. And also the other source I'm going to explain. Okay. And apart from the development, uh, I'm going to cover the central configuration management tool. I mean, the administration part, uh, how to configure the, the servers and uh, how to uh, schedule reports, how to install the scheduled job servers, how to create the new job sh schedule servers, how to manage the load balance between the multiple servers if multiple users are running the reports at a time. So that all load balancing part also I'm going to cover. And also, as I said, like user going to access the reports. So as the administrator, so you have to provide access to particular reports to the particular users, okay? And also we need to monitor the, the everyday reports, day-to-day -day scheduled reports and load on the server that all we are going to do it through the CMC administrator tool, which is again the, the it's a web-based tool, 
which we do all administrator activities through the CNC tool that I'm going to cover. And also the promotion management tool is a tool which we can promote the reports uh, from our development system to quality quality system to the production. We can move the reports from, from dev to quality and quality system to the production. That's uh, using the PMT tool that we do. And uh, in a 4.0, very, very beginning version of the 4.0 SP1, so there is a life cycle management tool. Now it is called the promotion management tool. You don't find LCM anywhere. So now it's called the promotion management tool. So using this tool, you can move the report from dev to quality, quality system to the production. That we'll discuss. And upgrade a management tool is a tool which we can migrate the project. So the client customer is having a older version of the tool BO3.1, which we need to migrate to the 4.1 or 2 version. So how to migrate using the upgrade management tool. So that all we are going to discuss as part of the training. And RCT is a tool which we can convert the desk reports to the web intelligence reporting formatting. So you know the in a older version of the BO in x 3.1 we have a desktop based tool. How the rich client tool is there similar way. So we have a desktop based tool, which is permanently removed. And in place, there is a rich client tool is introduced. Okay, if there are any desk key reports are there in 3.1 report, 3.1 version, using the RCT tool, report conversion tool we can convert the desk key reports to the web intelligence formatting. Okay, so that also we are going to discuss in this thing. Fine, any, any questions? And the duration of this uh, training is 35 hours and uh, the training goes every day, Monday to Friday. approximately number of days i can say i'll try to finish it within a 50 days okay and uh, you will get the server access so whatever i just covered in this training all the components you will get access including sap bw ana and all bo tools and one sql server database Microsoft SQL Server database, MS Access database also available. Okay, and the server access uh, you will get uh, uh, sixty days. And also will give you some sample reports which I worked with uh, on previous projects. Okay and the sample dashboards which is more uh, on telecom sales domain projects and banking projects so that you can keep it in your project and also i'll provide you the material i'll provide you the sap material and also i also prepare some my own documents okay so some ppts i'll share with you and uh, project documents project document uh, which is functional specs so basically the in the functional specs uh, so it's a kind of uh, uh, requirement document i can say then technical specification and uh, test cases test cases and uh, results okay so that all I'm going to share with you. And certification documents. I'll also share you some certification documents. After the training completed, you can go for a certification. Okay. And also resumes, sample resumes. So, so consider after the training is completed, you can consider yourself like as a 10 plus years of experienced person, what kind of knowledge you gain. The same kind of knowledge you, you can gain after the training completed you can consider yourself like as a bo you have a 10 years of experience 
so because like here i am going to cover the basics and the and the advanced concept i am going to cover with all components of the bo okay normally like four or five years experience like the e is e more e normally works on more on like a reporting side web intelligence reporting but here we are covering the the universe designing idt udt and also different sources and different uh, uh, different tools in bo which is design studio lumir crystal dashboards right and also the administration part so you can work end to end uh, implementation uh, any of the project you can take any of the project and you can handle even if it is a complex project also okay and also resumes also i'll give it to you some sample resumes i'll share with you some interview questions normally like if you attend the client interviews what kind of questions they ask normally like in the interviews a uh, generic question uh, is tell me about your project architecture first question second question so what are the different tools you work and how you rate yourself in the different tools and business objects and third how you are good in in the administration part and fourth can you just give me the one of the complex reports which you implemented in web or dashboard and uh, can you just explain a uh, few of the uh, uh, errors or a uh, few of the uh, issues the customer raised and how you resolve it can you just tell me some of the product related issues bo which cannot be handled and for that we can do some work around so that kind of questions so regular questions they they ask in interviews so that will you understand after the training session complete i'm not going to explain separately but as a part of the training i'll just cover some complex scenarios and some of the things which cannot handle with the bo so that so we can do some work around to make it work in our business object tools so that also i'll explain as part of the training okay so this all i'm going to cover as part of the training okay any any questions um uh, yes sir madhu i have a couple of questions yeah go ahead um <clears throat> one is um can you go go back to the earlier screen earlier uh, slide kind yeah. of yeah yeah so so um uh, what are the uh, i mean one tools like a uh, um, design studio so using this uh, design studio also can we create couple of uh, uh, bo reports dashboards it's a dashboard not a report uh, a report oh, uh, report is like which we can have some 100 pages of 1000 pages of document detail information dashboard which can have only the single slide which is having aggregated data Okay. Okay. more graphical so, representation okay those okay. dashboard we are creating with um, uh, design studio right design studio as well as we have a dashboard tool also dashboard we have a two okay. dashboard but design studio also will... yes 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 got you yeah. and design studio also will uh, support us to create the dashboard right correct correct both both the tools it will support dashboards dashboard tool and okay. earlier the dashboard tool called excel cs now it is renamed with the dashboard itself design studio also it is a, uh, initially the design studio is come up with just uh, accessing only the sap sources now with the latest version of the design studio which, uh, which is a 1.5 and 1.6 which you can connect to the even non sap sources like which we, which you can connect to the universe okay. also so I, okay i thought the design studio is something like our excel so in that excel it looks like an excel kind of is it that is a dashboard or that is that is excel cs tool oh, okay 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 that's excel so dashboard okay, okay. yeah the dashboard which we more work on with excel source data okay now that is also now hmm. which is added the new features which you which you do not require to save the data in excel and develop a dashboard so you can directly develop a dashboard without saving in excel source okay yeah got you and um uh, yeah maybe like uh, one or two questions from my side like um no no uh, just go ahead as i said like um uh, bex query how we are creating bex query is there uh, which tool is using to you know uh, create very the bex query very designed tool 
query design tool. I just uh, um, no, I just don't really go through yeah, it. Are, okay. Are we having? Yeah, are we having access to that query designer tool also? In our yes, it is um, there. I'm just connecting to the remote server. So you need not to install anything. I'm just yeah. giving the online server access. Okay, I'll show you the query designer tool where it is available. Yeah. Because uh, no, just wondering, like, uh, is it uh, very hard to create Bex query? Because most of no. my projects, it's not is, hard. you know, they are referring like Bex query. Then maybe it, it is not that much complex. Okay. Here is the tool you can see, query designer tool. Mm -hmm. okay i think it's taking some time but yes so here is the query designer tool once it is open it will ask you to enter the bw credentials once you log in so there you can open existing bex queries or you can open you can create your own bex queries okay, it is there it's available you have the access you will you will get the access for the query designer tool also Okay, so, okay. Uh, so uh, once we yeah once, once we connect yeah, to the Bex like um, you know uh, using that Bex query as the source we will be creating the uh, web reports, right? Correct. With the OLAP connection, then we should create a one connection between the BO and BW that is called OLAP connection. That we do it with the UD IDT tool. Okay. Oh, even See. for uh, Bex. I'm, I'm sorry even for the Bex query the connection is like OLAP connection we are using the data source so, that's what so we have to establish the connection between the Bex and uh, webby report right so how yes. you can access the Bex query so there should be some connection that is called OLAP connection that you can do it with IDT tool mm -hmm. mm, okay okay so some BICS or something right I, I is a, a bit of oh, the ODBC connection. You heard about the ODBC connection, right? ODBC. Similar way, right. BAC uh, is a similar way. BAC, BACS is a middleware connection to access the BEX queries. Yeah, yeah. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Any any questions? um not with respect to the uh, topic with regarding the timing like you uh, know what will be the you uh, know timing of this timing is the uh, is the time is the 8 30 to 9 30. we can have it every day okay so it will be exactly 8 30 right because yes. now it's like late for me like it will be late like uh, you know it's exactly yeah, 8 30 only correct yeah okay fine yeah I'm okay fine. so thanks uh Bijish. i think suresh left okay anyway i'll talk to him then okay. yeah, yeah, yeah and one more thing like, the, there's a, you know there's a small there's a small like um uh, i mean uh, the crime uh, this one voice is breaking sometimes so can you just correct that as well uh, yes, yes actually i'm sitting in some another room <laughs> okay uh so that's what uh, yeah, we yeah. Getting yeah. Yeah. so yeah. No, no, you will not get any problem that okay. voice, so you will not be any issue. Okay, okay, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. thank you. Thank you, bye-bye. No problem. So, so tomorrow we'll meet uh, at yeah, 8.30. Correct, okay, yeah, sure, fine. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.